Good morning, folks. It's a beautiful day. We out here on Lay Lake today. Practice has officially started. This is day one for Red Crest, and uh, we are trying to hunt them down, my friends. A lot riding on this, man. If you guys recall last year from my, from my hardcore followers, you guys watched me. I had a I had a challenging season last year, man, and uh, we end up pulling off at the end. Two top tens to end the season. Got us right here where we need to be for a shot at $300,000, man. Now here we are on Lay Lake, a lake that I'm not familiar with whatsoever, man, but uh, historical lake, man. A lot of Bassmasters Classics have been here. Um, a lot of big tournaments have been here over the years, man. And this place has got them, dude. It really does. A lot of nice largemouth and nice spotted bass that will play this week. So we got a two pound minimum. That's gonna make things very interesting um, because I think there's a lot of bass in this pond under two pounds to be quite honest you know pound and a half a lot of pound and a half pound and three quarters spotted bass that will likely obviously they won't play you know but they could lead you down a a, a, a bad path man you start getting some bites and then you go oh, i'm sure a few of these will be two pounds and you stick with it and you get caught up on a smaller a smaller bite game and so i think my approach is going to be more so geared towards the largemouth initially there's a lot of water to cover, so today we're down here on the main lake, but obviously I'll start spending time running up the lake, getting in the river where the spotted bass are more prevalent, uh, and I think the size goes up too, and so you might start seeing uh, your better better average fish up the river. So I don't know. A lot to cover, though. we got three days of practice. I'm excited, man. It's a beautiful day. I'm not far from the house. I'm like an hour and a half, hour 40 minutes from the crib, um, which is cool. We don't get to do that quite often. Uh, I'm not sleeping in my bed though this week, but nevertheless, if I need to go grab something, I can shoot home and, and go get it done. So, pretty cool, man. But uh, you guys stick with us. Today's practice day. We're gonna uh, we're gonna have some live hooks on, and we're gonna roll over some hooks at some point. But we're gonna try to get a few nibbles first, and just kind of see what's floating around. Let's go. I've never fished back here before. I've caught some bass in this in this particular creek, but never way back in here. So I just wanted to see what's up. All kind of bait out here in the, the middle toward the back. So my thoughts is like these fish are starting to push towards the backs of these creeks. So like on Jordan the other day, I was smashing in the back of a creek on bait. And then you go to the bank in the back of the creek and flip the grass and catch largemouth. Like literally just troll from here to there, go flip and catch largemouth, and now here you be catching spots, you know? Good ones. So. Damn, there's hella bait, but I ain't seeing no bass, boy. Ah, uh, not nah, don't start that. Sh don't y'all start it. One bass bite, bro, is 12 inches, not even. You can't tell me they don't live in here. I mean, you could, but. But I know better. I see one. Yeah, you know, but I don't. He he ain't two pounds. And there went a good one right. Ah, uh, he ain't that good. There went one right there though. They in the holes of that of that dollar grass. The males are anyway. Oh, ooh, he's still looking at it. Dude, that's crazy.
Nice little fish, right? Yeah, nice little fish. But guess what? Ain't gonna make it. <clears throat> There's a lot of these guys right here. One forty. One eighty nine. So that's like a one thirteen, one fit, yeah, one fifteen. All right. I'll take him first bite of the day. Well, not the first bite of the day, but first one with any size to him. That was very weird. I seen him on live scope on the edge of that grass. Picked a wacky up through over there and he he had him some. Hmm. That might actually be something. Might pan these grass edges with like a drop shot or something. Oh, dude, there's, there's, there's three more right here. Four more. See them right there? Yeah, right there on the edge of that grass, right there. Dude, that's crazy. Got him over there. Oh, one just ran up on it. Coming to look at me. Two of them. Right on the point of that grass, though. There's a few of them. Now I see another one over there. That's a good one. That one will make the grade. That's a good one there. Didn't have my, that's a three pounder probably. <clears throat> Didn't have my drag set on that one. Two ninety three. Mr. Three Pounder. Yes, sir. Thank you, buddy. Okay. On those shaky head. Now look, come check this out, Colin. See what they own. That fish is right here. When you look out on live scope, you see it's just flat. And all of a sudden it gets real bumpy and rocky right here. Well, there's a couple bass. You see them swimming around down there? Yep. That's them for sure. And there's another one. So those are those are those are pre-spawn spotted bass. Sitting right there on that little on that little hump right there. Yes, sir. I got one right now. Not gonna make the grade. It's like some of the clearest water on the lake looks like. <clears throat> Got one swimming right at me right now. But again, it's it's do you do that? I don't know, man. I that's a tough one on me. It's hard for me to say. It's just, it's a, that's a tough one on me. It's hard to say, like, if I want to try to catch, go for, like, less less bites, but potentially big ones, or, or try to catch more. More bites, and there goes one. He, he's not two pounds. 
why are they not coming up on this stuff, dude? And biting like this or, or my floating worm. It, it, it's just mind boggling. They're sitting up there. Give you guys a little, little update what's going on, man. So, uh, been fishing midday now. Probably had four or five bites. It's been quite tough. I've actually been live scoping quite a few fish that are bank related, but really difficult to get them to bite. And they're in little groups too, which is good if you can get them to bite. But we haven't been able to get them to bite. I've seen four or five on bed. They've been all small except one. I think I seen one that was a scoreable. Um, so this is, we got, our, we got our work cut out, man. There's still some fish out on bait. Dang, backlashing. There's still fish out on bait. There's some doing that, but they're really wanting to get up to spawn. Water temperature's 57 and a half on Garmin, which is a little shy of Lowrance. So if you run Lowrance or Hummingbird, you'd have 59, 60. And so everything's pointing at coming to the bank. Spawn, spawn, spawn. And so that's why I'm up here shallow, just seeing if I can run into a few of these pre-spawners. And um, it really hasn't been happening, man. I'm down on the lower end, water's clearer down here, so of course that makes shallow fishing a little bit more challenging, in my opinion. And bass are just not quite as apt to, to strike. But nevertheless, man, they they gotta do their deal down here just like just like anywhere else. And so I'm hoping uh hope we get a couple bites here and put piece piece together the puzzle just a little bit. You know, not the whole puzzle. We wanna do that during the tournament, but if we could just get a, a few pieces put together, I think we'd be all right. So, I like, I, like, I like what I'm doing, you know, just covering water. Lots of docks in this lake, and so docks are gonna have to play, dude, to some degree. You know, you may not catch them on chowder bay, you might catch them on a swim bay, you might catch them on a wacky, a nail weight, something like that, but I feel like docks are definitely gonna be a player. So as I'm, as I'm rolling around underneath these docks, I'm, I'm looking underneath there too on forward facing sonar and just trying to see if anybody's home. And so far not not seeing not seeing a lot. Not seeing a lot. So y'all stick with us though. There go one over there, you see him? He just rolled over there on the bank, probably chasing a bluegill or something. There we go. But I don't know what he is. You know what I'm saying? Dang, that's the only thing. See, sometimes when they come get this thing, there's one. That was not a little one. No, it was not a little one. It's two bites. Two quick, two quick bites. In the very back of the pocket. There's one. There he is. Before they show themselves. Oh, they, yeah. That's okay. I'm okay with that. So you just get back here in these backs. Cause this is the warmest water probably, it's 57 something. And you could probably just throw a, a wacky and, and this right here. They spawning around that, uh, that dollar grass. But you saw how, did you see how I was just, I just had my peepers on. I seen that fish roll over there. I knew he was there. Hey, this, that's the cool thing too when they spawn in like this. They hella aggressive about uh, running bluegills. So they run them bluegill off, which is cool. In the very back, and that was, that was three bites in a row. Score tracker update. And see, and the cool thing about doing this, call them to tell you. So you liable to throw up there, right? And the female then slid up there. And she the first one to get to it and she eat it. Now you got a seven pounder. Like that's I've done that a lot. But I'm cool with catching the bucks too if they if they if they 
two pounds. Four. Oh. I'm gonna put a hook on. First bite I get with a hook on. Oh, you got a hook on that one? No, I don't. Oh. But the first bite I'll get with a hook on, you already know. All right, guys, so I've had about four bites now. Five, maybe six, I don't know, a bunch. On um, this is my, one of my favorite baits to throw. This is methylate trick worm. Um, as you can see, no, there's no hook. There's just a screw lock in there. There's teeth marks all over this thing. Now this is a good thing, I haven't damaged any fish, right? But I don't know what these fish are. Are they one pounders, two pounders, five pounders? I don't know. The ones I've been seeing up really shallow that were on the bed, I only seen one that was a scoreable bass. And so I'm really unsure what these fish are. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lo load me up a hook. I'm gonna, I'm gonna load me up a hook and uh, I'm gonna try to catch a couple of these just to, just to size check them just to see. And so I, I bounced it around from a bunch of different lines that I like for doing this technique, but this is what I've settled on, man. 12 pound Seaguar red label, okay? You guys know I'm sponsored by Seaguar. They make the best fluorocarbon ever built, and I can use any of the lines they make. Tatsu, gold label, some of the most high-end lines that they make. But for this technique, I really like this lower grade line. Um, this red label is absolutely bulletproof, man. If you've never tried fluorocarbon and you just want to give it a shot, this is the line to try. And for somebody that doesn't do this full time, you can do this for any technique you want. Use it as leader material, use it as filler spool material, just use it, man. You guys will be thoroughly impressed with this red label. I'm telling you, dude, it's... So you're about to go. lean on one. I'm about to crack one. The next one that bites this worm is about to <laughs> fill it. <laughs> You guys will get to see him too. Hopefully he's not five pounder, <laughs> which is it very well no, easily no could in be. your luck. No, my luck, it's be, it'll be a lake record. <laughs> 10, 12, I don't know what the lake record is, but. All right, so here we go. A number 2-0 offset round bin. Texas rig, this bad boy. Just like that, very simplistic technique very powerful this time of year damn did you see that yeah i seen a tail on that one okay okay problem that, that, again i didn't I, it took me too long to get a good cast on him i mean you got to hit him bro That was giving. That one was giving me. That's a yeah. That's a good one. Cat daddy. God, dude, are you seeing these casts? Yeah, you, you, bro, you can't, you can't do that. What? Huh? Didn't even move.
That's a bass. A little sucker. So they, they saw him. Okay. A little sucker, man. He ain't gonna help, but that's how we do it right there. Oh, mooch minnow. Buckeye scope head. Let's get a little combo. Oh, there he is. That's a two some. You weigh him or no? Yeah, I'm gonna weigh him. Once I get him all unbuttoned. That's a chunky. That's what we need right there. A little brush pile up there. I didn't even know it was there. Decided it just. Yep, 277. Respectable. A, a reptable. Dude, how, how did that thing pull so hard? That was unbelievable, man. That was weird. Gosh, Lee. If he would have got off, I'd have been like drum or or a sturgeon. That was crazy. Huh. All right, well. That was good. I like that. Spotted bass, came up, it had red eyes. I definitely noticed that. Y'all know what time of year it is. Y'all know what time it is. So, we, you know, we had a couple bites in this zone and I wasn't really liking what I was seeing running around, man. So I wanted to get back over here where I had some bites and just kind of, I'm trying to figure more out, you know? And so uh, just farting around and and pick you know not picking it apart but just coming back through here and taking a peek man there's so much to see in these areas you know um hang on one second here i gotta mark this yeah so i just wanted to come get back in the zone i had some confidence in where i had some bites earlier you know and we're gonna mill around in here the rest of the day and just try to find as much as i can in here and that way I don't have to run, spread myself thin trying to run all around this lake, you know? We got two more days of practice, so if I can find a few more zones, I like fishing zones. I don't wanna make a run here 30 miles that way, 15 miles over here. I really don't wanna fish like that. I will, but I don't, I don't want to. So we're gonna try to prevent that. Jeez. That ain't gonna do it. That will that will not do it. 
and that's what we put a hook on right there so if we start getting a few bites like that and they're not two pounds the thing with this though any given cast could be the female and she's four five six seven eight nine pounds so the key with the with spawning for the bed fish they gotta they gotta have some light penetration so it can't be too 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 thick gotta have a little openings in there otherwise they won't they won't even put their bed there close but I don't think he gonna make it <clears throat> fat boy that's what you want to see but definitely gotta be two pounds oh 205 jeez he's a fat little sucker man he don't even look two pounds it's a trip how there'll just be all them and then boom they'll just be like that right there two biggins for a minute I Thought felt like felt good about being around some. There we go. That's a, that's a two and a half pounder. to something that's a good one all right fat pre-spawn that's what we want right there okay all right you got to work hard at these though bruh that's the only thing you're gonna have to work so hard at these dang Look at the belly on this thing. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's crazy. You're smashing shad out here. Look at the absolute gut on this thing, bro. That is unbelievably so fat. I know he's over two pounds. That's crazy. 249, two and a half pounder. A little fat, little obese guy. Jeez, buddy. <clears throat> Appreciate the bite. Man, <clears throat> I don't know, man. You could catch some two-pounders panning, you know, but it still scares me, man. It, it, it scares me, man, because you could go so long and probably not catch one, and there's just a lot of, like, junk fish out here, man. I'm catching probably two-to-one catfish, I'd say. But it's a it's a good what in the world? Oh, that's all bait. Look at all the that's all bait. I'm like, what in the world? I thought my son was wrong with my grass. Nothing's wrong. Just that's why, he's so fat. that's why he's so fat. He's over here just going, just gorging, going crazy. It's been a long one, folks. We've been out here all day, sun up, sun down, putting in that work. Trying to figure it out. We had some bites today. It wasn't great by no means, but this is springtime. And so there's a lot of things changing right now. And so, you know, you gotta you gotta keep your mind in it and thinking at all times. So today I fished shallow and deep offshore. Tomorrow I'm probably gonna do the same thing. Totally different area of the lake though. This tournament will likely be won, in my opinion, on pre-spawners. Or or spawners that guys can't see. Stained water, off color water, just fishing for them in a good little zone, pitching around and catching them. I really think that's what the deal is gonna be as far as winning. I could be wrong, but that's what I, I really, really think. So uh, it's time to run in, it's getting late. Gotta be off the water here in like 10 minutes. Definitely don't wanna be late. And 
Hey man, tomorrow's a new day. I'm happy to be here. Red Crest 2024. Let's get it. Jersey boy, I got a question for you, bro. All right. Lay Lake, day one, Red Crest. What's going to be the biggest single bass caught? Somebody's going to catch a six. A six? What are they going to catch it on? If you had to guess. Either a hoo hoo or a wacky worm. Hoo hoo, AKA chatterbait. Or, 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 or a wacky, wacky worm. worm. Six yonder. Mm -hmm. Let's get six six what? Let's get a little bit I'm more. Gonna go, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go six three. Six pound three ounces. Mm -hmm. That's a damn begging. Begging. That's a good one. Hopefully it's right. you, Mark. Hey, Mike. Hey, hey. I don't know. J Dub. Question. You already know the answer. No, I don't. That's why I'm coming over to you. Day one. Red Crest tomorrow. What's gonna be the biggest bass caught? One sing the single largest six bass. Six pounds, twelve ounces. Six twelve. Yep. Dang, that's a big one. All right. Two part question though. What's it gonna be caught on, you think? Give me give me one of two baits. Give me two baits. Either a Carolina rig jitterbug or a hula popper. <laughs> one of two. <laughs> I'm going with that hula popper, bro. And hey, that hula popper, hey, for my old folks that watch it, hey, listen, Bloop. that that hula Bloop. popper used to be so oh. serious. Hey, he used to catch you up. A bucket mouth. Hey, you ever messed around like Carol Carolina regular and jitterbug? I ain't never tried it. Goes, Is he pretty good? Better like, watch. Hey, you lose a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you lose a lot you of snag, You snag up a little bit, huh? You might be hung up a little bit. Hey, just but he a does little float, bit. so you gotta you keep him winding. Like so he just stays bottom context, so you just wind him. Just like, wind him around. Doop. But you know what you got you one. Man, I've been trying a lot of stuff recently, man. I'm just trying to stay like, stay on top of the curve. <laughs> Trying to stay ahead of the curve, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't want, it, I don't want to, I don't want to get behind this dang bass fishing game. A little worried you. about it. <laughs> I feel you, bro. All right, J Dub ain't giving us a bait, y'all. It's oh, all I'd good. Be, I, 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 you already heard. I, I would say wacky worm. Oh, wacky worm. All right, all right, J Dub. You or, know he. Or, or sight fishing. Or oh, sight fishing. There are some. Big. There are some big ones. Oh, big. Practice is right, man. It's over with for your boy. It's gonna be an interesting tournament. It's gonna be an interesting first couple of days, cause. Uh, I'm probably gonna go old school this week, man. I, you know, I, I did a lot of offshore fishing, panning around. That's gonna be a strong player, there's no doubt. Um, there's just a lot of fish moving up right now. The weather's nice, it's springtime, there's pollen in the air. They should be spawning, dude. They should be wanting to get there to spawn. And had a lot of good bites, man, on a wacky worm, to be honest with you. So it's kind of hard for me not to go try that. We'll play today as it comes to us, but Right now, that's where my gut's screaming, so that's what I'm gonna do, man. No four-facing sonar for your boy, day one, at least. I don't know, I might get out there. I don't, I really don't want to, but we just gonna play it and see how the day comes to us, but appreciate y'all watching. That wraps up practice. You guys will be checking us back out. Day one, Lay Lake, Red Crest. Let's make it happen.